Hello everybody, Timothy Bailey with another video for us today. Today we're going to look at a grocery store flyer. Okay, a grocery store flyer. Some vocabulary words to look at first, grocery store. Um, you may use this, people might say market, they might say supermarket. Groceries uh, typically are the things that we buy, the food uh, and produce and meats and things that we buy uh, from the store, okay? So grocery store. A flyer is just a, um, like a small uh, advertisement. Uh, I have mine, we'll see a picture in a second. Right, this is the one from Aldi. Usually comes in a newspaper or it might come by itself just in the mail, right? And you'll have them from all kinds of stores, grocery stores and clothing stores and different things, right? We could call this a flyer. Another word would be a circular, right? Uh, different things. Just another way to advertise. Each, right? Each. Each means one individual thing, right? Uh, if this pen, for example, was on sale, if this pen was a dollar each, I would pay one dollar for each pen, okay? Per is related to that. So whatever the price is, per item means for that one item, okay? So imagine this pen is $1 per pen. So $1 each would be another way to say that. When you see LB like this, it might be a big L, it might be a small L, right? This is a pound, right? A pound, okay? This is often used for things like meat, or for fruits and vegetables sometimes as well. For example, when I go to the store, ground beef for making things like hamburgers, I typically buy a pound or close to a pound, a little more, a little less. Another thing we have are ounces, right? Ounces. And we use these often for liquids um, and some other things we'll see in the flyer as well. But let's go ahead and look at the flyer. Oh, before we look at the flyer, I forgot. I wanted to look at how we say the prices again. So here we have a price. Okay. First, we're going to start with this, two. So they go in order, A, B, C. So two dollars, right? Anything more than one, right, is going to be dollars with an S. Two dollars. This one here, we don't say period, we don't say decimal. Uh, you might sometimes hear people say point, uh, but typically I'm going to say we say and. So two dollars and 75, and then you don't see this symbol, but we say it, cents. So when we're saying the price, two dollars and 75 cents. That's how we would say the price. Okay, well, let's go ahead and look. I'm going to get out of this so that I can zoom in uh, on the advertisement. Real big from Aldi's, we see on the front, we have some grapes, some red grapes, some mangoes, and we have some blueberries. Okay, some blueberries. Well, the red grapes, if we zoom in a little bit more, are a dollar twenty nine, right? One dollar and twenty nine cents per pound. Okay, that's how much we're paying for the red grapes. The mangoes are sixty nine cents each. So for one mango, I'm paying sixty nine cents. The blueberries are a different one, so they're two dollars and forty nine cents. Per, and it says pint, P-I-N-T. And the pint will be just a small container, usually a small plastic container. Okay. Look at some of the other things. Our apples, right, are $3.49 per bag, per three-pound bag. So for $3.49, I'm getting three pounds of apples okay these apples are a particular kind of apples so if you ever see this 
This is just the type of apple called Pink Lady apples. The cabbage at Aldi's is $1.79 each. So for one round head of cabbage, I'm paying $1.79. The lemons are very similar to the apples. So the lemons are $2.99 per two pound bag. So a smaller bag than the apples, right? A two pound bag. Right? Let's look down here. So what do we have down here? Down here we have some meat, right? All meat on this section. We go back to the beginning, right? Here we have some ground beef, right? This is the amount of fat per uh, just meat in the package, okay? So it's four dollars and forty nine cents per pound for this meat, right? Now they sell it in four pound packages, so it's seventeen dollars and ninety six cents for the four pound package. And you can see all of these meats here, seven dollars and ninety nine cents per pound for the lamb, seventy nine cents per pound for the chicken. Chicken is usually the cheapest, one of the cheapest, and two dollars and forty nine cents per pound for the pork chops, so pork, right? There's our meat. Let's check out another one. So this one here, we have some different things. Here we have almonds. So here you're buying the package. They don't tell us that, but we can sort of tell from the picture. So $2.75 for this six ounce package of almonds. And the spinach is the same. So $1.39 for an eight ounce package of spinach, right, of spinach. And if you look down through, most of these all are the section of the grocery store where they're bagged or packaged items, right? In the produce section where we bought the apples and the lemons and the grapes, you can probably find spinach not in a bag as well. Right? If not at Aldi's and at other stores, you certainly can. But here, we're buying these things in packages. Salmon, 12-ounce package of salmon for $10.99. Right? Again, each for each package, each bag. And they tell you how much. The same with all of these. Right? So different tomato sauces. Right? These are for the jars. You can see them. Go down here. So the jar of sauce, 12 ounce jar of hot sauce, $1.99. Right. And you can tell each package, the price. And you just need to look and see what it is, right? Protein wraps, plain protein wraps here, plain. They also have red pepper, hummus, 12 ounces. This is what I'm buying. Okay. Down here as well. So we have salad which is $2.89 for this package. Hot dog buns here. Right. Let's go on and look at some of the other stuff, some of the non-food stuff. So here we have pillows, right? You use to go to sleep. Here's the pillow. This pillow, $5.99 okay, for this pillow. Here are the sheets for the bed, right? 300 thread count, right? Sheets. That just means how many threads, so how soft and how smooth it is. This is a set, so you probably have a couple different kinds of sheets and possibly the pillowcases. $29.99. Okay. Check out a couple more things. Right? Many people at home, they're stuck at home because they're social isolating, right? They are working in their yard. Right? Here are some things. Right. Here are our tools, our garden tools. They are $9.99 each. So this is $9.99. This is $9.99. Okay. If you buy two of them, it'll be around $20. Okay. Down here as well, you might want the planter. 
So here they're not selling the flowers. They probably do sell flowers. But here they're selling the planter to put the flowers in for $12.99. And it tells you, plants not included. Here is the soil, the flower mix, $4.99. And some different things we can put around uh, the outside, some figurines to go outside, and some mats to go at your door for $8.99 each. Right? You can see down here some things you might need. Gardening gloves, a rain jacket, and an umbrella, right? Because in the spring, we typically get a, a lot of rain, a significant amount of rain, right? Go and check out these flyers. You might have received the Aldi flyer in your mail, right? Or in your newspaper, right? You might have a flyer from another store, Giant Eagle or Acme or somewhere or Dave's. Check them out. For some vocabulary words, right, related to the uh, grocery store, you can go to this link, and there is a lot of vocabulary words for the grocery store. Thank you. I hope this was fun and helpful. Have a great day, and check out your grocery store flyers. Bye-bye.